Hi everybody, it's Joe Crew from FinSuite. In this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the filter component. In this video, we learn how to filter within a specific class. CMS library uses keywords to filter items inside your CMS collection. Sometimes keywords may conflict with other keywords. This option will allow you to only search for keywords within a specific class inside that item. This becomes very powerful as you understand how it works. We have applied it to the search input here. And the search input is only searching within the class of year. It is not going to filter anything with project number. It is only filtering year. So if I were to go and search by 12, nothing will return. Yet 12 as a project number does exist. If I search by nine, it's going to start searching with 2009 here. It will return that saying, this is close. Give me some more information here. And now I'll go to 91 and that certainly does not return any matches. Why? Because this has a filter by class of year. So it's only going to filter within the year class. So if I search for 2020, it will return all of the 2020s. If I were to search by 2019, it will return all the 2019s. And just to do another check, let's do 15. And there are no 15s in here because our year only is 2017, 18, 19, and 20. Let's now go into designer, see what else we need here, and then we'll go into custom code and see how this works. We're in designer and we don't need any new data attributes. We don't need any new classes. We only have to be aware of the classes that we want to filter within. So let's go over what we have in these items here. We first have the name and the name has project nine, project 10, project 11. Then we have the number class, which is holding that project's number only, which is 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then we have the year class. And the year class is holding 2020, 2020, 19, and 17. With those three classes, we're going to go into custom code and only allow these filter groups to filter, search, and sort between these specific class names. We're in custom code and we'll add filter by class options inside the filter groups that we want to filter within a class. We have our JavaScript array inside our custom code and the array is just a list of all of our filter groups. Each one of these has a filter by class option. Here is our search input. Here is our year checkbox. And here is our filter range buttons. We'll go over this one because that is what we did in our live example. In our search input, when we typed in 15, nothing returned because it was only filtering by class of year. And our year does not have any 15 inside of it. Only our projects have 15 inside of it. So filter by class restricts that specific input to only search within the year class. Our filter by years, our filter years checkboxes also have a filter by class year. And in our range filter, we have a filter by class number. And this is saying when we click on these buttons that are filtering by our project names, project numbers, we will filter only within the class of number. So you can apply these to any filter groups that you want to make them more specific and only filter within that class. That's effing sweet.